All right, so picking up where we left off, uh, we had created this. Um, uh, if you don't know where we left off, there will be a link in the description. Uh, we have created a Visual Studio project with a single component that uh, is a utility to remap a, a list of numbers to a given domain. And uh, yeah, we had covered the basics of. Uh, of, of the structure of a component in C sharp and uh, and we had if I am not mistaken we had okay we yeah we have installed uh, a simple uh, NuGet package that is called Xbox controller made by Brandon Potter uh, it's a library to uh, get Xbox controller input in .NET uh, presumably Xbox 360 going by the icon and uh, so we are going to try and create a plugin that can take this input and uh, parse it and sort of uh, output some sort of uh, numbers or, or we'll see how we can uh, handle that parse that output and give it to the user within Grasshopper so the components of this plugin will essentially uh, give us some values or, or a list of just just data in some form that will help us understand what uh, the Xbox controller is doing. So uh, when you install NuGet packages, you will notice that uh, a lot of times uh, they install other dependencies along with the actual package that you've installed. Um, don't uh, like don't be confused as to where these came from. These are required. These are dependencies uh, of this. Like the code in this library depends on the code in these libraries, which is why they've been installed automatically. So uh, we're not going to worry about that too much. And uh, let's just quickly add a new component here. And let's call this. Uh, Xbox controller component. Right. So, uh, in fact, this time what I want to do is uh, maybe, uh, you know, instead of creating a just because it's probably just going to be one component, I don't want to uh, uh, create a, a completely new category and, and uh, completely new uh, subcategory specifically for this component so I'm going to uh, I'm just opening grasshopper here on this side and I'm going to try and uh, see where uh, Firefly uh, keeps its components that are similar to this so I'll keep this component there so that it's easier for uh, anyone who installs this component to access this particular uh, component. I am saying component a lot of times during this tutorial. Anyway, uh, we are making components, so naturally, right? Uh, yeah, so we have grasshopper um, fly. So uh, I assume this should probably come um, somewhere not in vision, so I'll say uh, I think uh, <laughs> I might have to create a completely new category because uh, this is specifically Arduino and IO boards. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, we nunchuck, right? Uh, so, yeah, we'll use this category. We'll call it Arduino. And Right. Ah, sorry. This is the subcategory. The category is Firefly. Okay. Even though this is not a Firefly component, but it's useful if people can find it there since it's related to all that. And the description will be uh, outputs data from. 
Right. Now, uh, similar to the Arduino components, uh, we will require a timer to be added to this component. So I won't worry about the um, the rate at which the uh, data is coming in because uh, yeah, we'll, you'll, we'll understand how uh, how often this will refresh, the, the values will refresh as we go along. So right off the bat, what I'm going to do is I will say using uh, what is the reference called? Brandon Potter. Brandon Potter, if you're watching this by any chance, thank you very much for developing. Why is this not? Brandon Potter dot Xbox. And uh, let's just see what all we have, what all we can play with. So an Xbox controller or an Xbox controller dot get connected controllers. Alright. And what does that leave me? Leave us with Xbox controller. Okay, a list of Xbox controllers. So let's say the zero if item. Nope. Nothing. Alright. Um what else do we have? What was in total watcher? Dude, how do we use this? Okay. Um, let's go visit the GitHub page and see if there's any documentation. Variable uh, connected controllers equals alright. Uh, watcher, okay, you have to instantiate a watcher and watcher or get controller connected, okay. Controller is disconnected. Really? Is that? Oh, okay. First to default button he pressed. Alright, alright. This is much better. This is what we need. Right. Uh, so let's put this to the side and Let's try this. Uh, variable. Um, <coughs> is a press is equal to Xbox controller dot get connected controllers dot first or default is not there. But so uh, okay. What? No. Something's up. Okay. Um, let's just say connected. And let's also say uh, so watcher dot controller disconnected. Okay, all right. So we need to add an event handler. So this is uh, <coughs> this symbol is for events. So essentially this is an event and we need to add a event handler to it. So just like we would add a number to an existing variable or something like that, we can add a handler to, uh, to an event. So here we'll say uh, um, we will say uh, C, which is the argument for the controller uh, connected event, um, and we need to uh, punch that into let's say uh, 
a method to, which we will call uh, connected. Right. So, generate that method and this is just a quick way to like, not have to type all this <laughs> and uh, let's say uh, for now just console the right line Controller. Dot, ah, this is where all the good stuff is, but nay pressed. Wonderful. All right. So this is what uh, ah, okay. Player index. Player index dot to string. That's it. Actually, um, let's also define somewhere in this component a private variable, private property actually, uh, and of the type of uh, what is the type of C? <coughs> Xbox controller. All right. So type with Xbox controller. Uh, controller. And get set Excuse me. So yeah, we have defined that property. And let's say somewhere here that controller is equal to C. I'm not sure if that will work as I expected to. Will it? Let's see. Um, we'll we'll have to try and see that's the only way we'll know. So uh, connected controllers is also there. So we could also say connected controllers uh, value at zero since this is okay. We could do that. So why can't we do that? Um, get enumerator dot better. So then this should work. No? This is something weird. Um, current then. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So there are a lot of um, so let's 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 register our uh, output parameters right first uh, let's say just a second um, let's quickly read the description as well the first controller works and I like to start not very descriptive. Not useful. Um, anyway, let's uh, for now let's add um, let's add a boolean parameter and uh, let's give it a name. Just say 
out for now. Uh, and and let's say it's less uh, whatever values we can possibly uh, get from this we'll just dump them all into the new list of boolean's go this uh, output this new list of boolean's and here we just say output dot add and we'll add this here and let's do the same thing for whatever buttons there are whatever we can find here so button A pressed let's say button B pressed and there must be X somewhere X and Y and uh, what else is there? Back, down, left, right, shoulder left, shoulder right, and up, down. These are probably the D pad buttons. So, flat, should look and start and back might be useful what else what else do we get is connected left motor vibration speed i think that should be okay so we can't ah oh, we can set the motor vibration that's nice so we can even give haptic feedback through Grasa. That's really cool. Uh, thumb left X. Okay, this is a double. Um, trigger left. Yeah, trigger left press is a boolean. Trigger right press is a boolean. What else is a boolean? Uh, thumb left. Uh, okay, thumb pad left pressed I think that's about it for the boolean values so let's first check whether each of these work and then we'll move on to um, to other kinds of values what is wrong here right uh, and we also need to say da dot set data list zero output. If you don't understand this particular line, you should refer to the previous uh, tutorial. Um, and that should do it, right? No issues yet. Um, I'll just comment this out for now because I don't want to mess anything up just in case. In fact, I'll comment this out as well because my controller is already connected. I don't know what will, I, I don't know if this will trigger uh, at all because I've left it connected by like before I run it. I could disconnect and reconnect, but I'm too lazy to. <laughs> the wire sort of goes in from behind. Uh, so, yeah, let's see how this looks. I hope my debugging is set up right. We did set it up in the previous tutorial, so it shouldn't uh, be any different and it should work Oops. still loading 
I need to manage my plugins much better. I have so many plugins that it takes Grasshopper ages to load. And it goes like this. I, I don't I don't even know what to say. I mean what what is this? Some sorry about that. Uh yeah, we have our ah object of course. Of course, of course, of course. Um this is going to Never mind. Um, so I haven't set up my webcam, so I can't really show you my controller right now. But okay, so we got an error right here. Let's actually try this again. Let's see what that error says. Uh, what is output is zero. That's fine. Network controllers. There is one controller. Get numerator gives me what? Okay, so this doesn't work. Get enumerator dot current doesn't work. So instead, we need to do something from this line, right? So let's try this out instead. Let's pause debugging and uncomment that. And let's say, let's uncomment this as well. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, so I can't continue at this point. No problem. We'll restart. Once again, Grasshopper is going to take a while to start running so this is this is like normal you, especially when you get a new library and start working with it and and there isn't uh, the documentation isn't good enough um, Brandon Porter please would make better documentations uh, if the documentation isn't good enough, then uh, you might have to do this a lot. You might have to uh, keep trying to, you know, trial and error is going to be very common. So let's just change this to C instead. I'm sorry, controller. And let's copy that everywhere. Still null, so why don't I? I'll add a breakpoint here, and let me disconnect. God damn it! Oh. Perfect. All right. So now we have a value stored in controller. So this should work. I think. Let's recompute. Yes, it works. Perfect. Wait, what? All right, all everything's false. Let's add another timer. Let's change the interval to 30 milliseconds. Okay, we got it. Controller is a controller of Xbox 2. Alright. Great. It's working. Uh, it was working. 
well. Yeah. Wait. It did detect my controller uh, the, the A button being pressed for a second to reconnect. Let me try again. Okay, so it's stuck in a loop for some some reason. Ah, uh, oh, I get it. I'm adding this over and over again. My bad. So uh, this event is being handled way too many times. So I should actually take all this and all this and just take this and put this here so that it only happens once when this component is uh, is instantiated so yeah nothing we need here will occur more than once and let's restart so now the moment I start uh, the component like the moment I create a new component, uh, this code will run and then it won't run again. And so only this portion will uh, run every time the component recomputes. So now it should work much better. So you might have noticed this uh, breakpoint sort of triggered twice just now. Grasshopper was loading and uh, every time Grasshopper loads, it sort of creates an instance of each and every uh, component there is in its memory, I think. And so that's why... Okay. Yeah. So it's working now. And yes, this works perfectly, beautifully. So that's A, B, X, Y. Uh, then what did we have? We had, no, we had the left and right uh, shoulder buttons, then up. Oops. Oh, thank you. Sorry about that. Uh, then we have up down, left, right, uh, these are start, back, and uh, everything else. Yeah, so everything works. This is nice. Okay, that's one part of it done. So yeah, we've got values from my Xbox controller streaming in here. That's great. Now, next step is to uh, instead of have it all coming like this, let's let's now start adding. Uh, let's see, A. and B and X and Y. So A. Oops. We have A. B, X, Y, shoulder left, shoulder right, up, down, left, right. Uh, then we have start, back, trigger left, trigger right, thumb pad left, thumb pad right. Oh boy, now to name these, I'll, uh, I'm going to promise to edit this out but I'm going to end up not doing that so just skip this part like fast forward uh,
Poof. That should do for now. Now to look, take a look at what else we are getting from this. Um, I'm assuming we are also getting. Uh, these are all buildings. We are getting Snap Dead Zone Center. I do not know what that means. Neither do I know what this means. Although a simple Google search should tell us, but uh, thumb left X. Yes, so this is the this is this is interesting. So this will come in handy. Uh, let's create a new there's going to be a lot of output parameters and not even a single input parameter. Uh, not boolean. We need a number parameter. Let's call this list. Um, step. From pad left person, uh, uh, trigger left position. This is interesting. Okay. Uh, threshold, I'm not sure if that's a very. That could be an input. Actually, I yeah, will keep that as an input, but maybe later. Let's first get all the outputs from this. So, uh, trigger left position. Right? So. Let's, let's try getting this to work first because we already have uh, uh, Twenty-one outputs. My goodness. Um. Okay. We will basically now just let's just replace this with the set data. And zero one two three hang on boring boring stuff especially to watch but you if you just skip this boring part 
because I'm definitely not going to wear it this hard. And this is going to end up being another god knows how many hours to go do. So my 16th value is left thumbstick X. So I'll change this to that. Thumb left X. And we'll keep going on. X, Y. This X. Check the left. Check the right. So this is Y. That's it. I hope I haven't made any mistake here. If I have, we will soon get to know. <clears throat> and this is not required. In fact, uh, just to make sure that no errors occur, let's say if not control. We could just say if control is not equal to null, we could then do all this, otherwise do nothing. So that will just avoid an error unnecessarily occurring. And let's see what we have. And I should have my <laughs> webcam uh, set up for this because the controller won't be visible to you guys. But uh, it's just like any other Xbox controller anyway, so nothing new to see except the mark that I have on it. Yes. Okay, so it's got a great point. Really boring on this one. <laughs> Sorry about that. Here we go. Oops. All right. So we have all of these now. Let's just. God damn it. <laughs> this is going to take a while. Nice, this works pretty well. So this is me uh, moving the right thumbstick around right now. Now the left. Interesting, the right trigger, left trigger. This is, this is quite simple. So there's the threshold values. You can see the true and false change for the triggers as I press them more than this. So I think the default trigger value appears to be around 10, I think, yeah. 10 is the value. Yep. Yeah. And of course, A, B, X, Y, pressing all these works normally. Brilliant. So we just, I think we're done. <laughs> Basically. Because uh, we've just made a simple, really simple component that takes a library and uh, gives us all the values from a connected export controller. 
Now, of course, there are things we can improve in this, which is like uh, adding, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, um, a lot of stuff. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to uh, end this tutorial here because uh, I don't want this to be another really long and boring one. Uh, and we'll keep improving on this uh, in the next tutorial, which I hope I'll be able to work on tomorrow. So that might come soon. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, push this to the GitHub repository as well um, for anyone to check out and uh, work on by themselves. In the meantime, uh, subscribe, like, share, whatever, dislike, <laughs> if you don't like it. Uh, okay, no, don't do that. That's, that's mean. Uh, anyway, okay, thank you, and bye-bye.